gym. I am so excited about today. Like this is the first official mic'd up workout in my gym. Ooh for YouTube. This is this is going to be awesome. I still am waiting on a couple of pieces of equipment to be delivered and then this will be a fully functioning gym and I can do a tour and everything. If you want to see some behind the scenes, I have two videos up that you can watch. So I'll link those down below and pop up like the thumbnail right here. I am feeling great. We're hitting legs today. I'm going to do like a quad and glute focused leg day. Everybody wants a nice little juicy peach. So and normally my leg days are broken up for one of my leg days is emphasis on squats and then the other day is a Lifts. We're doing squats today because we have my new squat rack built. I downed my pre already, you could probably tell. And I know the comments are gonna be like, oh, you already have so much energy. You don't need to have any more pre workout. And you know, it is what it is. You can beam pre workout code Brett. This is the sour water, no, this is the watermelon candy flavor. It's so good. <laughs> So now that we have our pre done, we're gonna head into a warm up. Wait, I get to walk you through this. I'm so excited. This is honestly so surreal. I feel like we just became friends on a whole new level because we get to actually do this fully together. This has just changed the game. I'm so glad I did this. So my warm up routine is the same for a leg day. I do pretty much the same exercises and then I will repeat them in a little circuit. Like I move from one to the next. So I'm just gonna start with scoops. This is so crazy. This is for your hamstrings, you guys. So as you do this, like literally you will feel that stretch in your hamstring. You guys already know dynamic over static stretching. So I'll do some of that. And then on the way back, we do butt kicks. So again, you will feel this in your quads. It's just warming up those muscles. We'll repeat that again. I don't really know. I'm not counting how many. I normally do anywhere between six to 10, but for today, we're just going at the length of me being in the shot. And then we'll come back this way and do butt kicks. Next, we're gonna do hip rotation. So we're doing externally. So we're pulling our leg up, moving it out to the side and down. Oh my goodness, I am sore from running yesterday. So this is a needed warm up. On the way back, you're gonna do the opposite. So your leg is gonna start out and you're gonna come bring it in. So start out, come bring it in. These are just great for your hips and warming them up. We're gonna just do that one more time. Next up, we're doing lateral lunges. So you're gonna be in a wide stance and you'll go ahead and lunge over one side and then you'll come and shift to the other side. Come up, go down, up to the other side. Once we do six, we're doing shifts. So you're gonna shift your weight to the other side, keep it low. Great for your hips, great for your groin. Oh man, hips are feeling good. Next up is a little bit new. So I do a knee over toe. This is kind of a combination movement. Knee over toe, this is helping your ankle right here because you're doing this knee over toe, stretching that out. I'll come back, do one more knee over toe, prop up that back leg, come into a runner's lunge and stretch up for a spinal rotation. Drop that knee, come back over your toe, come back, over, Prop up, runner's lunge, and twist. Another one is gonna be a deep squat. This is one of the most important ones to do. So I'm in this deep squat and I'm shifting my weight over each ankle side to side. I'm also using my elbows to push my legs out. So I'm getting a great stretch in my hip, but I'm also rocking over my knees over my toes to help warm up my ankles. Because when you do a squat, it's that flexion that a lot of people struggle with when it comes to ankle mobility. So that can help you get more parallel in your squat. So I went ahead and I repeated that circuit a second time and it's cool when you go through it, you already feel so much more warmer. Even on those laterals, I can get so much lower than I initially could because my body's already a little bit warmer. I've got that blood flow going and we're gonna keep that up. A couple more things I'm gonna do at the squat rack. I'm gonna do some leg swings and then I'm gonna do some banded knee exercises. I've gone ahead and grabbed one of these thicker bands and you want this to be at your knee level. So I go ahead and I measure, okay, is that about where my knee is? Great, that's gonna be good. You're just gonna stick one leg in through it. It's gonna go right at the back of your knee. What you're gonna do is that leg is on the floor, the other one can come up. You're gonna have a bend. You're gonna straighten it, make tension in the band and release it. And you're gonna do about 10 each side. This always helps me with my squat. And then I'm just gonna switch to the other leg. This knee already feels so much better. It's insane. Awesome, we're all done with this and we're ready to set up the bar and start squats. Okay, I'm just gonna warm up with the 25 on each side. So that's 95 pounds. This is incredibly light for me, so I don't need to add clips or anything to it. Music on, let's get this lift. I always like to start with lighter weight to see how 
I feel, see if I need to warm up anymore, see where my body's at, make sure the mechanics are good and I'm feeling good. So I'm gonna move up to 135 and start with five sets of five pause squats. That's the first exercise. Honestly, my least favorite part of leg day is always having to rack and re-rack your weights. It's the worst. Ugh. <laughs> Too. I just went down and up and I was like, gotta add the pot squats, okay. <laughs> deficit reverse lunges next. So I wanted to do a unilateral movement, which means a one side at a time instead of bilateral, bi for two, uni for one, unilateral bilateral movement. So squats, both legs, this will be for a single leg. You're gonna get a little deficit going on that. You can use a preloaded barbell. You can use a big barbell. You can use dumbbells. I think for today I have easy bars. I'm gonna see if that feels okay because I don't have straight bars in my gym, but if it doesn't feel good, then I'll just use dumbbells and those will work just as fine. You can also do this on the edge of some plates. This is actually pretty steep, but this is the one Darian wanted. It's the very edge of my heels are gonna be on here. We're just gonna do it with a dumbbell on this to help target quads even a little bit more. Again, because the weight is loaded more toward the front of our body. I'm feeling it, let's go. superhero. two more exercises we're super setting the last two this is a quad burnout why did i decide to do this i don't know y'all are gonna hate me for this because i already hate myself for deciding to do this we're gonna do the quad squat complex which is where you have the dumbbell this is one of my favorite exercises and what you're gonna do you're doing a right narrow squat 
You're stepping forward, doing a single leg squat, stepping back, stepping forward. Yeah. And we're super setting that with a 20 to 30 second wall set hold. Yikes, let's begin. Present cigarette smoke is it? The print you wanna leave behind. Get all those cold eyes, cold looking. But saying bye bye bye. I don't wanna talk before the moment's lonely slips away. Sweaty, roasty, toasty, hurt, personally offended, attacked, violent, vicious, tired, hungry, thirsty, all those things. I'm gonna foam roll stretch. That was a great workout. Let me know if you give it a try. Let me know what muscle group you want next, mic'd up. This is gonna be so much fun. I am so happy I did this so that I could provide you guys finally with the content that I want in like longer explanations in workouts, longer explanations, and why I do certain things, all of that. So if you got questions, let me know, drop them down below. Whatever you want me to hit or cover, like, let's do it. I could talk about pull-ups, I could talk about anything. Let me know, I'm happy to provide it for you, mic'd up with Brett. Love you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok for more. Listen to my podcast every single Wednesday. Train with me on my app if you want more specific programs. And with that being said, see you guys in the next video. Bye. I'm gonna lose ya. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do